we are doing all this yoga and pranayam everything what is the purpose of uh, keeping our body fit anybody can unmute and answer the question at least for me being healthy what is the purpose of being healthy i am connecting within what do you mean by connecting within think next next person what is the purpose of doing all this yoga yes veena being active yeah being more no, energetic no answer okay. is wrong depending on on own self self being self dependent or independent right yeah. okay yeah. that's the purpose for your future self correct and okay and, and arshna it's not a simple question <laughs> <laughs> When I'm asking, I don't ask simple questions. Yes, you are right. Anybody else wants to answer? Pradeep ji, where are you? You're not answering today. My roll number one. Where did you go? I thought maybe the new person should give the first new answer. New participant should answer more. <laughs> to achieve the basic purpose or achieve our goals. All your goals of life to keep your body fit. Yeah, that's what I think. To okay. summarize. Okay. All right. That's fine. Ask me what is my goal? Okay. <laughs> no, I'll ask next time. <laughs> All right. So, what is the purpose of keeping our body fit? Like, why are we doing this yoga? I know many have goals. Like when you assign the form first time, you write your goals, right? To get into a routine, to have a healthy body, to get some stress-free life or some disease management. That's all is fine. But what is the ultimate purpose of keeping the body fit? Two more minutes will brainstorm a bit because uh, I do a lot of mental yoga too. Yoga is not just physical thing, but also contemplating within and thinking deeper is also yoga. Staying away from diseases. Yeah, that's good. Being stronger, I guess, physically and mentally. Anybody? can be appreciative of our body and how it function internally and we should be appreciative of we breathe every day and get up every day from the bed and that's another way find uh, like something to get up and be healthy in life you know yeah. everything goes smoothly calm our mind to be more healthy and um, energetic yes okay All it right. gives it gives us happiness when we are healthy you know we can do everything then our entire being is made up of different layers so the entire purpose of keeping this body fit okay so that all your systems your digestive system respiratory system reproductive system any system heart system they all function well internally which is very important only when you keep physically fit all the systems work in so those are feeded by our pranas the vital force that keeps all the system active that's the purpose so our anamaya kosh feeds the pranamaya kosh sort of we are preparing our body so that our pranamaya kosh remains very healthy the purpose of doing pranayam and all the meditation is keep our mind healthy ultimate purpose is as kulvi said to connect with the divinity within your body is a vehicle unless this vehicle is well toned you will not connect with your own higher self so this is the only purpose of a healthy body which is the ultimate goal of yoga as per maharshi patanjali maharshi patanjali gave eight steps of yoga yam niyam asan pranayam pratyahar dharana dhyan samadhi okay so samadhi is the ultimate goal which is complete union with your true self to know yourself that's the only purpose of yoga but we may take it as a as a physical benefit mental benefit or free of diseases or whatever it is so that is why when you come for the yoga mat i want your presence here it's like doing a puja a worship it's not just an exercise it may be famous in the west as an exercise or to look good or have a nice body or to be fit but it's none of those things it's not even for stress relief these are all the by products of the journey of yoga there was a recent research that when you're not held accountable for something it's likely that you'll slip on that thing then only you'll feel the maximum benefit of yoga because you're present you know somebody is watching you the whole purpose of yoga is to understand yourself your body starts with the body then your mind your emotions and then going beyond your intellect and everything every small step will make you an integrated individual any questions so first of all your intellect has to be convinced what i'm doing is for my benefit because biologically and evolutionary we are programmed like that we do everything for our benefit even we take care of our child because it's our child so first of all your mind has to get convinced even if you want to do puja or something havan everything you do it for your benefit that's how evolutionary we are programmed so once your mind is convinced this is the path for me because you may have tried different paths going to a doctor or whatever or other things but once you start feeling that change within yourself once your intellect is convinced then that commitment is even more and it keeps on increasing as you find the evidence within your own self everybody agrees give a thumbs up very good wow we are getting <laughs>